All right, Allison with Kind Massage today, coming to you as a volleyball coach. And so we're going to do a little bit of volleyball for indoors when we're stuck uh, without being able to be with our teammates at this time. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do is get your volleyball, right? Any volleyball player should own their own volleyball. So grab your volleyball. And we're just going to warm up our shoulders. So you're just going to stretch your arms and toss. Okay, squeeze the weights down and back. Put them in those back pockets that we don't have in our volleyball attire, but we don't want our shoulders coming up, so we keep them down and back. Okay, then we're going to go angled, so up and down, palm that ball. Same thing, squeeze down and back, and we go up with the ball, it adds a little bit of weight, and we want to retract back, just like you would on your swing, and switch directions. Good to warm up before we go swing or do anything, right? Our warm ups should get us uh, getting some blood flow and not having that impact of the ball quite yet or stopping or starting that velocity. Okay, now we're gonna go behind your head and forward. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, same thing. Stretch out those lats and the triceps. Reach back and bring it forward. All right, now we're going to go make circles. So swing it around. We'll do five, one direction, four, five, and switch. If you want to start to get your legs a little bit warm, we can do a little dip squat. And then we're going to do some to reach out as if you're going to pass in front of your teammate right in front of you. Shrug those shoulders just like you would. Nice strong arms for not that ball. Be stronger than the ball. Don't let that ball break your arms, right? So shrug those shoulders as you step out. And then we're just gonna get our heart rate going a little bit. So we're gonna do what I like to call heel flips. As I jump, I'm gonna kick my heel out. Or think of it as bringing your toe towards your shin. So jump, kick. I can do it high enough. And maybe you can see in the video. All right, that's our warm up. Our ball spins just like you normally would uh, with a partner. We're going to use the wall, so we're going to toss to the wall, okay, we're driving the farthest hip, okay, this is just to warm up the rotation in our back, so not a lot of speed, um, but we're just generating some force here, okay, each direction, arms are going to stay straight, and you're going to reach, whoops, reach towards the wall. Okay, and then squeeze as you bring the hip around. So I'm driving all the force from that back leg. Arms aren't working yet, they're just going with the force. Okay, just throw over our back. Throw back, then bounce, and grab the ball. Same thing, but we're gonna go forward, okay? Just like we did in our warm up, reach back. Use our core just like we would when we're blocking the ball and slam the ball down at the ground. So I'm standing in front of you. Ooh, now we're going to go single arm, okay? So we're just warming up the rotation. Again, we don't want it just to be in our arm, but we want to twist through the spine just like you would to open up to go hit or to serve. So we're going to open up, throw. So the force should be generated in my thoracic spine, what we call our mid-back section. Okay, so I'm going to swing from there, and then that's going to start the load in our shoulder and propel the ball forward. And both sides, as always. Now, some of us might feel weird on our weakest side because we're not used to hitting. I'm one of those coaches that likes to say, hit from both sides. Now we're going to start throwing, okay? So we're going to turn. I'm going to have my back to you a little bit. But just like you would warming up with your partner, okay, you're going to start parallel, um, sorry, perpendicular to where you want the ball to go. So I'm going to be here. My shoulders are open. Okay, ball is going to be back. My rotation is going to start in my hips, 
bend my mid back, create that thoracic area, and then shoulder is going to follow through. With volleyball, we want to follow through, straight through for this drill, okay? And then we do the other side. Hold it back, rotate with the hips, mid back, shoulder, follow through. Good, now we get into hitting, what we love to do. So same thing, we're gonna toss. I'm indoors and I don't have a super high ceiling, so I'm actually gonna hit out in front of me a little bit. Toss, hip, back, toss, hip, back, shoulder. Toss, hip, back, shoulder. Now we're gonna toss and work on some of the shots. So still the same thing, right? Our hips, our back, and our shoulder are gonna go, and then at the last point, we're gonna change our wrist a little bit. So I'm gonna step out of the screen, but um, I'm gonna be tossing the ball to get around to it, to hit it more to my right. So you'll watch the spin on the ball, because I come around the ball. All right, same thing. This time um, we're gonna toss, okay? And as the ball's out in front, this is a little bit lower than where I'm gonna hit. Uh, I wanna try to get uh, some directional swipe or contact going this way. So I'm gonna rotate, get around the right side of the ball, and then try to hit it with a little bit of spin to the corner. All right, so those are some different hitting shots that you can try. Let me know how it goes and if you have any questions. All right, as always, before you can hit, we need to know how to pass. So here are some drills you can do at home against a wall. You can get even a piece of plywood and um, lean it against maybe your back fence or your garage, or if your parents let you use your garage, go ahead off the garage door. So what you're gonna do is take your ball, you're gonna find your wall and you're gonna go perpendicular to it with your shoulders. And then you're gonna kneel, the leg closest to the wall is gonna be up. And I'm gonna toss the ball over that leg to start and then try to pass. This is a little advanced um, for some of you, so be patient with yourself if you have to get up and chase the ball around. Let's call that your cardio and your leg exercises. Okay, then the goal <clears throat> is to be able to do it continuous. So I'm going to toss up. Keep the ball out in front of the arms, place it straight, and then camper. Some sort of control. Okay, try that, see how many you can get. As always, we're going to switch sides too. Okay, inside leg, thumbs against the wall, um, up. That is against the wall. You're gonna to toss over. And you may find one side is easier or you have better control on one side than the other. Last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put it all together. So you're gonna to try to pepper it with yourself in the wall. So the way that it looks is you try to pass, set, hit it to the ground, and then your next contact is either a pass or a set, depending on where it comes. And the next contact is either a pass or a set because again we can always set with our forearms right so we're trying to do pass set hit pass set hit um, but that first and second contact can be with your hands or your arms either way just like a game so it's gonna look like this <laughs> 